Okay, I'm Clifford Bates, and this is a special. This is reading, I'm doing a, a, a thing called Readings Carl Schmidt. Today, uh, uh, Carl, reading Carl Schmidt's concept of the political is going to be the focus of our thing. We're going to be doing just, we're going to break it up into small little bits. So we're going to be, today, we're going to be looking at section one, the first section or part of the concept of the political. Schmidt's concept of the political is his, you know, the, the, seem to be the, you know, not his magnum opus per se, because some people argue no most of the earth is his magnum opus or his constitutional law of his early thing. Uh, Schmidt was a prolific writer, wrote, you know, lots of many things. Um, but he also wrote these smaller books, and this uh, concept of political is, is what, a very accessible book, and it becomes the book that we see as kind of being a defining theme of his uh, uh, works. Um, so, I, I mean, I should do a general video. I, I, I talked about Schmidt uh, uh, before, um, but Schmidt's here, Concept of the Political, we're going to be looking at this as this is a very book that many people have used, and this, uh, particularly in the New Right, and both the New Left and the New Right have used in many sense, and, and becomes a very defining book of what the politics is. So let's look at this. This is the Schwab translation from University of Chicago Press. Um, the revised edition, the expanded edition, as you're going through here. So the concept of the political begins with a, a published version in 1928. This is the 1932 edition, so the revised edition. Um, uh, um, um, and these are going to be short, little shorts, so let's see what happens. Uh, the concept of the political part one, and it says, it, it, the, the work is dedicated in memory of my friend Augustus Schwartz of Munich, who fell on August 28, uh, uh, August 28, 1917, on the assault of Montreal, which I think is a, 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 you know, was a friend of his who died in the First World War, at the, the assault at, at this at this time of of trying to do it, showing his you know the uh, nationalist card. Even though Schmidt himself was in the reserve, he wasn't in the fronts ever. So, concept Peric, So, section one. The concept of the state presupposes the concept of the political. In other words, the state presupposes. According to modern linguistic usage, the state is the political stat status of an organized people in an enclosed territorial unit. Again, this is echoing Weber's kind of Marx Weber's defi definition, and this is the monopoly violence that Weber talks about in his um, his lecture, of, uh, the famous lecture, Munich lecture, um, Politics as Vocation, where he kind of defines the state. But the idea of, again, state as state is a status, political status of an organized people in a close territorial unit. This is nothing more than a general paraphrase, not a definition of the state. In other words, he's saying that this this idea up here is not is not really a, 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 a real true definition of the state. Uh, since we are concerned here with the nature of the political, such a definition is unwarranted. So we don't really necessarily see we're interested in the political. A true, accurate definition of the state is not necessarily warranted in that sense. It may be left open what the state is in its essence, a machine or organism, a person or an institution, a society or a community, a, a enterprise or a beehive, or perhaps even a basic procedural order. So the, these are different concepts of the state here. He's saying the, the real, the, the true essence of the state, and this, this is the divide. And thus, in, in a way, he wants to, Schmidt in this essay is avoiding the fundamental question of what is the state. He's not looking at the essence of the state, but rather that, the, uh, that, that what the state represents, the political. In other words, um, that the state is the form the political takes, the form of the political, by which the political operates with it. And because of that, there's different there's, there's there's debates about what the essence is. He's saying he's he's listing the debates, right? In other words, the debate whether it's a machine, this is the modern understanding, or an organism, the medieval and ancient understanding, a person, or an institution, okay, a Gesellschaft or a Gemeinschaft, right, a um, a enterprise. A, a, a association in French, right? An enterprise, or even in Latin, societas, right? Or a beehive, 
a, 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 or perhaps even a, this is the legal conception, a basic procedural order, right? These definitions and images anticipate too much meaning, interpretation, and illustration and construction, and therefore cannot constitute any appropriate point of departure for a simple and elementary statement. Whatever, in other words, we're trying to get to what is the political. And therefore, that the state, you know, you know, you don't have to have a good definition of state, and that this, and it, and these, the trying to understand the essence of it engages what anticipate too much meaning, interpretation, illustration, and construction, and therefore I say, not, not, we have to get to the basic of what the political is. Let me shrink that a little bit, right? In a literal sense, it is the historic appearance that the state is a specific entity of a people. Now, I, I, I wish I I, I, I I don't have the German edition here. I, I, I used to use library edition. Um, I, I, my copy was borrowed by someone and never returned. I just recently ordered a new copy of the German edition of uh, uh, Concept of the Political. Um, I only have editions. I have a, I have a Polish edition and the French, and the Polish turning to the Polish edition of Kanza, it wasn't useful. I need to know if it's the word here people means Volk, or does he use a different word? I think he uses Volk, okay, the, the, of a people, right? A Volk, or maybe he uses the word, maybe a different word, but I think it's Volk. Um, vis a vis, uh, and evoke implies a, a, a kind of rooted piece of blood of people sharing the same continent of the same rea reality. Uh, vis a vis many conceivable kinds of entities. It, in other words, it's, it's, it's an entity. The political is an entity, right? In other words, the state is an entity. Sorry, the state is a specific entity of the people, right? And it's a conceivable kind of entities. It is in the decisive case, the ultimate authority. In other words, this is the ultimate. This again acts all the way goes all the way back to politics one, that the polis is the uh, uh, what the complete community, is the uh, 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 the authentic uh, autakos communitas right. Um, uh, it has the highest root. It, it has uh, it's the um, 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 uh, uh, the polis also is the master craft uh, 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 architectonic right. It rules over the other ones right. Uh, architectonic in that sense. Uh, and that's what it means here. This is that it is the decisive case, the ultimate authority, right? More needs not be said at the moment. So if, when, we're going to say that at this moment, I'm, I'm not just, just understand that it's the state is the ultimate authority in that sense, right? It is the source of the decisive case, the ultimate authority. No more than that, we have to talk about all characteristics of this image of entirety. Uh, of entirety and people, Volk, received, the, I think it's Volk, I, I'm, if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself, received their meaning from the further distinctive traits of the people, of the political, of the political, and become incomprehensible when the nature of the political is un, misunderstood. So if you don't understand what the political means, then the nature of what this thing is, the entity of the people and their meaning from further traits of the political, that this becomes incomprehensible. We don't, we won't understand the state or then even the nation, right? In this sense, either in terms of what he says, the entity, the thing, or the people that, that, that make it, right? This will, this will be incomprehensible if the political is misunderstood. One seldom finds a clear definition of political. Very good, true. Say, say. The word is most frequently used negative in contrast to other ideas. For example, as antithesis of uh, as politics and economy, of uh, politics and morality, politics and law, and within law, again, uh, 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 in law, within law, there is, again, politics and civil law, right? The idea of civil law. And by this, I think he means, as to denote, as to denote, uh, the antithesis of law, in other words, antithesis of law uh, uh, um, and politics used, uh, uh, confused it with the antithesis of civil and public law, right? According to Buncelli, the famous German uh, uh, legal historian, uh, Buncelli, the un uh, uh, this is the, you know, the general law, the general state justice, state right, the uh, uh, stop, right stop. 
a rule of, a rule of law, right, or this constitutional state, right? Um, the, the, this is a book that really shaped now my civil law model. This is the Rickstadt, the idea of that, or the idea of this German the German legal tradition of the Stadt law, the steer theory of state, right? And the Rechtsstaat is the embodiment of the law of such a state, right? Of the of the, of the right of, of Richt is right, right? This is the, of, of, of justice, state justice, right? Proper, you know, he gives that line, property is a civil law, not a political concept. The political significance of the antithesis of, pro, of, of particular came force in 1925 and 26 during the debate regarding the expropriation of for, uh, the fortunes of the princes who had formerly ruled Germany. The following sentence uh, um, from the speech of the Dep uh, of Deputy Dietrich Reichstag session of Deputy Dietrich Reichstag session, uh, December 2, 1925, in the uh, German edition is pages, right? This is the brief, the listing. It's the it's like the, the listing of all this uh, uh, Reichstag sessions, right? The, the memoirs, it's like the record of Congress, right? Is cited as example. We are the opinion that the issue here do not at all pertain to civil law questions, but purely political ones, right? So therefore, this leads us to that weird understanding that emerges here. Oh no, we're going too far. Okay, so let's go back here. We did that. This idea we get that we we did this against. Um, that is uh, again in civil law and so forth, right? This is that this is again in politics and civil law. In other words, it's this division. We say poli we say politics versus economy, right? Politics versus morality. Politics, law, politics, uh, 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 and again, the civil between politics and civil law, political law and civil law, right? And civil law means by here not civil relations, but it means like private property, private rights, private contracts, right? And so forth. By by means of such negative. In other words, the idea of the political is often negatively described. Um, uh, 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 by means of such negative, often a polemical confrontation, it is usually possible, depending upon the context and concrete situation, to characterize something with clarity. So therefore, there's a, only by seeing the contrast between it, we see what, a, what they mean by the political, right? But it is still not a specific definition, in other words, uh, uh, we can we can understand something by the composition of what has been said before the negative a, 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 a thing polemical character of these th comparisons. Uh, we are able to spread the comparison. We are able to understand the opposite. If we understand what this means, we can understand what, what is therefore what is that is meant. Uh, but we don't get a clear understanding. In other words, this is not a specific definition. Uh, 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 but it, it is still not a specific definition. In one way or another, the political is ju juxtaposed to the state, or at least is brought in relation to it. Now, another footnote here, again here, uh, those in definitions of the political usually uh, uh, ultimize the concept of power and is a decisive factor. These powers appear most, uh, the uh, state power, for example, Max Weber, uh, politicos as punto, you know, this is the famous politics as a vocation, right? Uh, in his pages there, that is part of this, the Gemeinsche Politikos, the political writings, right? Aspiring to participate in uh, or of influencing the distribution of power, it, it, be it between states or between groups of people which uh, the states compose, uh, encompasses, or political leadership or influencing of political associations, hence the day of the state, or his parliamentary uh, and undregmintung in Odlung the Deutschland. So, uh, I mean, but the parliamentary and the, uh, um, the parliament and the, uh, uh, I think this is right on the, the okay, this is the, the in, okay, this is not German law. The in essence, pardon me, it's parliament and government. In the reorganized Germany, this is after this is right after like um, Germany after the creation of the Weimar Republic, right? Um, the essence of politics is combat, the winning of allies and a voluntary followers, right? This is Weber's discussion of this, right? Um, um, 
in, uh, uh, was published in the Stock Act in Politics, state, right, uh, in politics. Uh, again, this is published after his death, right? And the, the collection of essays and things his wife collects, uh, Mary Vapor, were published. Until recent decades, it was still wisely associated with the study of the state, this idea of the politics. In this vein, uh, uh, Waltz characterizes politics as a learned discussion of the state with respect to historical development of state as uh, uh, on the whole, as well as their current condition and needs. Triple then justly criticizes intent, uh, us intensively a non-political, purely juridical uh, uh, approach by Gerber Lambin School and the attempt and, and its con continuation in the post-war period by Kelsen, Hans Kelsen, the German. Nevertheless, Trippel had not yet recognized the pure political meaning of this pretense uh, and a, un, a, a of an apolitical purity. In other words, this idea the state is un. In other words, in other words, there's an ape. There's a Kelsen, and that perceives the idea of law and of state as this that last line, a pure process, right? This pure process uh, of the previous paragraph. And he, uh, this is not, uh, there's, uh, in other words, Tripp was not recognized the pure political meaning of this pretense as a apolitical purity because he subscribes to the equation, pro, uh, equation pro, uh, politics equal state. And as will be, uh, uh, as will still be seen below, di uh, 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 dignifies the adverse, uh, advers adversary as political and oneself as non-political, i.e. scientific, just, objective, neutral, etc., is actually a typical and usually intensive way of pursuing politics. In other words, in other words this idea, oh, we're, we're pure, uh, we're non-political, we're scientific, we're just, we're objective. Again, everything, is, it's contestation. People have their view, they have their interest or their issue, and that they are in contestation with others over this. This is what it means, contestation. There is dispute and that there's no, the objective, people who claim objectivity is often a kind of a trick to marginalize. This is the idea of when people say special interests. Special interest is the other, the guy you don't like's interest. Uh, the, the, your interest and that, this will just is justice. This is right. This is what Schmidt is pointing to. And this is why these notes are from him are very important to understand what he's up to here. The state thus appears as something political, but political as something pertaining to the state. Obviously, an unsatisfactory circle, right? There's something going on here. Right? There's a circle here going on. The state appears to be something political. The political is something to the state. This is, an, uh, this is not satisfying. This is an A equals A. You have a, uh, uh, the political is defining for the state, but the state is defining the political. This is, a, 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 it's kind of a circle, a logical circle. That's a fallacy in that sense. Uh, uh, many such descriptions of political uh, of the political appear in professional juristic, I mean judicial, like law legal literature. In so this is ju ju juristic is Schmidt's word about the idea of those who engage in law, the study of law or talking about law. Okay, in so f in so far as these are not politically polemical, they are uh, 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 they are practical and technical interests and are to be understood as legal or administrative decisions in particular cases. So therefore the juridic thing is not necessarily polemic in their character, it's, it just, it's a technical thing. It's a, it's a legal document and they're talking about this understanding of this, therefore this, it's, not, it's not understood as a polemic per se, but merely understood in terms of legal and administrative decisions in a particular case. These then receive their meanings by the presupposition of the stable state which within whose framework they operate. So therefore, this whole idea of this juridic understanding of this and how it operates and function, it presupposes a functioning state. Okay, this is the problem. This, uh, thus, there exists, for example, a jurisprudence and literature pertaining to the concept of political club or the political meaning in the law of associations. So there, there exists, in it, but, it's, but again, this presupposes the existence of a working state, a working system. Uh, uh, thus, there exists an idea of the literature, right, of a concept of a political club, right, or a, 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 a political meeting uh, in a law of associations. 
Furthermore, French administrative law practice and attempt has a practice has attempted to construct a concept of the political motive, the mobile politique, who uh, with whose aid political acts of government, acts the government, could be distinguished from non-political administrative acts, and thereby removed from the control of administrative courts. Now, this idea, this idea that administrative courts can only deal with the administrative aspects and not these acts, these acts of government. Uh, in other words, the or political motive act of this entity, that the acts of government, acts of government, this is administ administrative in the multi mobile politica uh, or political motive. This is a, a a political thing, and administrative courts can't deal with the intention or things like that, right? Uh, here, there's another again by uh, uh, three, four, six, uh, uh, a criterion of the uh, uh, political furnished here. Friends, enemy, or term, orientation. I draw upon the particularly interesting definition and the particularly political act of government, which default right, had advanced. The defining an act of government is the purpose to which the author himself addresses. Such an act aims at def defending society itself, or uh, as enabled in the government, acting against its eternal or external enemies, overt or convert present and future, that's the four, right? Defining this, and therefore it is even this, this act of government, this thing is, is, is really ironically, even here it's friend and enemy still is here. So that's interesting. He, this is where he talked about friends and enemy in a note first. This is what, this is interesting by uh, Schmidt here. So let's look at the next part. Okay, we're not in two, we're still in one. Uh, according such uh, 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 such accommodating definitions serve the need of legal practice, right? Basically, they provide a practical way of delimiting legal comp competencies of cases within a state in its legal procedure. Therefore, this, in other words, they do these ideas of separation so that the courts, therefore, there's a clear, what, competency. Who has competency of what? What court is competent over something? A criminal court will hear criminal cases. A civil court will hear civil cases. A administrative court will hear administrative cases. That's, this is what, how this does that. They do not, uh, in, in, in the least, aim at a general definition of the political. So therefore, all these the understandings, in turning to ch their use of this idea of uh, the act of government versus the political motive, this is Designed what? It's designed in legal terms to kind of deal with jurisdiction. Who gets jurisdiction? Doesn't it's not designed to get a, a good definition of the political. Such definitions of the political suffice, therefore, for as long as the state and the public institutions can be assumed as something self-evident and concrete. So, therefore, all these definitions of political that emerge from these discussions uh, or these attempts that he mentions work only because we assume that the uh, uh, the political uh, uh, is self-evident concrete. Also the definition, uh, the general definitions of the political which uh, contain nothing more than additional reference to the state are understandable and to that extent also intellectually justifiable well, for as long as the state is truly a clear and unequivocal uh, entity, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a clear unequivocal eminent means that highs authoritative right an entity confronting non-political groups and affairs in other words for as long as the state possesses the monopoly on politics <laughs> in other words the state is the, the defined it is that it controls the monopoly of what political activity is so whatever political activity is the state is the monopoly of it but once the state no longer has the monopoly of it then that becomes a problem okay the definition of it. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, that was the case when uh, where the state had either in the 18th century not recognized society as an antithetical force, or at least as in the Germans in the 19th century and into the 20th, stood above society as a stable and distinctive force. So therefore, in other words, this whole problem that here is that the state did not, where the state had either in the 18th century had not recognized society as something alternative to the state, state versus society, right? Um, uh, 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 but ra uh, rather in the 19th century to the 20th, the state was above society, right? Something trans transient to society. Uh, this is a problem. What is state and society? This is a thing. This is a plague. This relationship state and society has always plagued 
Hobbes and Locke, um, um, uh, one assumes that, they, you know, Locke, it's even more confusing because he throws the word society and civil society, but doesn't give a definition of it. So in Schmidt, uh, Schmidt is saying that, well, no, there's, there is the problem here, that either that this is totally absorbed, uh, t- transcended of it, or it does not recognize it, right? That's the whole 18th century did not recognize and as society is antithetical to it. And then uh, in, in the 19th and 20, early 20, and then 20th, the, uh, uh, the state stood above it, uh, society as a stable and distinctive force. The equation state equals politics becomes erroneous and deceptive as exactly the moment when state and society penetrate each other. So therefore, at once state and society penetrate each other, then state equals politics. Therefore, the social activity can be as much political. Once state and society is, uh, understands this in this way, and it interpenetrates, it, in other words, he says that penetrate each other. Um, uh, what had been up to that point affairs of state became... Uh, thereby came social matters and vice versa. What had been purely social matters became the affairs of state, as uh, must necessarily occur in a democratically organized unit. So therefore, the rise of democracy, the, the personal, this is that idea, weird, weird, the personal becomes the political. This is the postmodern. This is something that became in the 1960s idea that in a democratic society, the what is private, every private person, private thing becomes a political concern. Uh, I can, therefore, because of concern of state, and therefore this creates this. This what this, therefore society and state interpenetrate them and excessively in democracies, right? And because of this, okay, okay, this then under it's the the meaning of what political means is not merely defined by state function, but even by social. What was traditionally understood as social function or realm of the social now can be political. In fact, we can argue that was always the case. That state in the ancient world. The state and society, this, what we understand in the modern world, the state and society is wholly united. The concept of the polis and these things are completely united in that sense. Uh, this terrified the moderns, early moderns. They, it is, the liberal moderns want to separate society and state, you know, particularly with someone like Spinoza and, and then maybe even in some degree Hobbes, right? So... Therefore, here, heretofore, ostensibly neutral domains, religion, culture, education, the economy, then cease to be neutral in the sense that they do not pertain to state, uh, that they do not pertain to state and to politics. As a polemical concept against with such neutralization and depolitization of important domains appears, appears the total state which potentially embraces every domain. So therefore, the total state, the idea of the total state embraces all domain. Now, this is a Karl Popper's criticism of the Greeks. This is in Plato, particularly. In other words, that there is no distinction of state and society, that the, the, the nature of the city and Greek penetrate all, all aspects of this. This is the uh, this is the liberal modern position that we need to separate the political, or at least the political from society, right? To give divisions of separation. This is something what Men, uh, Pierre Menat in his called the uh, uh, called the politics called I it's called you know this is the book he publishes, Defense of the Nation State, um, in, in English translation. Um, Manat's book here addresses this issue to a great degree. In other words, uh, the total state, the modern total state, does, does this. Uh, but the, uh, uh, so the total, the, the, the liberal state is believes in neutralization, depolitization, and the total state is the rejection of this, right? Um, um, this uh, results uh, in uh, the identity of the state and society. In other words, this this this, this distinction up here. Uh, uh, results in the identity of state and society. In such a state, therefore, everything is at least potentially political, and referring to the state is no longer possible uh, 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 Possible to assert for uh, uh, it is a specific political character, uh, for it is a specific political characteristic. So the state, long, in other words, the state no longer defines the political anymore, this total state. In the democratic total state, Therefore, because the, what was private, what was social, no longer the state is no longer a higher.
higher ruling or authority over this. It's rather back penetrating into it, and therefore, and therefore, state and society emerged, in a sense, and therefore there is this sense that what was private, what was religious, what was that, now have political meaning, right? What was not political now has political, right? Schmidt, no, the development can be traced. Uh, from the absolute state of the 18th century, right? So the 18th century absolute state via the neutral, neutral non-intervention state of the 19th to the total state of the 20th century. Now, uh, this is note four. Uh, this is a famous, this refers to his own 1931 work, the Hunter uh, de, de, uh, de which is his guardian of the constitution. That's the, his famous work, the guardian of the constitution. So let's go back to this. So that uh, 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 he points to it, the work guardian constitution. Democracy must do away with all the typical distinctions and depolitizations characterized in the liberal 19th century. Also with those corresponding to the 19th century antithesis and divisions pertaining to the state the state and society, right, equals equals political uh, political against social contrast. Okay, therefore, to the state slash society equals political against social contrast. Namely, the following among the numerous other polemical and therefore again political antithesis: religious as antithesis the political, cultural as antithesis the political, economic as antithesis the political, legal as antithesis to political, and scientific as antithesis to political. The more profound thinkers of the 19th century soon recognized th this. And, and Jacob uh, uh, Ber, uh, uh, okay. I just wanted to make sure I got my title correctly. Uh, world Historical Conditions, right, of the period around 1870. World Historical Conditions, a little book he wrote. Burkhardt, Burkhardt is a famous German cultural studies person, study of culture, history, uh, friend of Nietzsche, you know, circles. Of, and, and he was a professor in Switzerland, uh, I think Basel or something like that. He was great. He, he was a famous for his discussion of Renaissance. The Renaissance, Burkhardt was, you know, hypothesis was the Renaissance was enlightenment and the re reaction, the Reformation was a thing like this. Very famous author and defining cultural studies and of German and, and, and European ideas. He argues what, of the period around 1870, following the sentences are found on democracy, i.e. The, uh, the doctrine nourished by thousand springs and varying greatly amongst the social status of its inheritance. Only in one respect was it consistent, namely in the insatiable insatiability of its demands for state control of the individual. Thus, it blurs the boundary between state and society and looks to the state for things that society will most likely refuse to do while maintaining a permanent condition of argument and change and ultimately vindicating the right to work in substance for certain cases. Burkhardt also correctly note, noted the inner contradiction of democracy and the liberal constitutional state. In other words, he Schmidt is pointing to the Burkhardt's noticing the contradiction in his next paragraph. The state is thus, on the one hand, the realization expression of the cultural ideas of every party. On the other hand, merely the visible vestures of civic life and powerful on the ad hoc basis only. So therefore, it's at one part the realization of everyone, but then the, merely the vestures of civic light and the powerful uh, 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 on an ad hoc basis only. Right? It should be available... Um, it should be available to do everything, yet allowed to do nothing. In particular, it must not defend its existing form in any crisis. After all, what men want more than anything else is to participate in uh, the, uh, uh, the exercise of its power. The state form uh, uh, thus becomes increasingly questionable, and its radius of power ever broader. Now, footnote five, this is a famous line here. He is, uh, uh, again, this is from the Kroner edition. Sorry, this is the, the, because the pages. So, okay, this is this, this gives me the reference to the citation. Uh, German political science, uh, German Stadtler, right? I think it's Stadtler, Mint originally maintained under the impact of Hegel's philosophy of the state, uh, 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 
uh, uh, uh, uh, yes, of, of the React uh, philosophy, React, right? Um, uh, 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 that's his book, Philosophy of, of React, right? Uh, um, that's Hegel's famous uh, and the impact of Hegel's book, famous book on the philosophy of the state, philosophy of right. Uh, that the state is quantitative, uh, qualitatively distinct from society and higher than it. The state standing above society could be called universal, but not total, as the term is understood nowadays, namely as the polemical negation of the neutral state. So the total state is not this idea that this, the state is above this, but rather that the, the negation of the tension of state and society. That state and society completely interpenetrate and they're one. The state is totally, in other words, the complete negation of society into state, into this radical sense. Um, uh, uh, in other words, not but not total in terms of us nowadays, namely as the polemical negation of the neutral state, whose economy and laws were themselves non-political. So therefore, the economy and the laws were non-political in this neutral state. Nevertheless, after 1848, the quantitative discussion, the uh, Qualitative, sorry, the qualitative discussion between state and society, to which uh, uh, Lorenz von Stein and Rudolf Gantz still subscribe, lost its previous clarity. So, starting 1848, this this has started to lose the liberal, non-political state because of the rise of national, the rise of peoples demanding to have more and more say, right? The rise of popular national self-determination movements. Um, uh, 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 lose the clarity it could be had, right? Nevertheless, certain limitations, reservations, and compromises. Says, the development of German Reichstag, a, 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 a Stadtler, maybe, this is political science, whose fundamental lines are shown in my treatise on Proust, this is a book, his book on Proust, follows the historical development towards the democratic identity of state and society. In other words, this, in other words the trajectory, the historical development towards the democratic identity of state and society. In other words, he basically says in his book, his treatise, uh, uh, criticizing Proust. Again, this again, this is um, uh, Stalin's in society of the German state. Uh, this, this is again Hugo Preston about you know concept of state and the uh, Stalin uh, he's the, the, the German state. Uh, um, this is his uh, piece on that. Now, again, this is not translated. I, I don't think it will be translated. Um, this. Um, follows the historic oh, of the same side. Now, this is the next one. Uh, a, 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 an interesting a, a national such liberal inter, a, intermediary stage is recognized in the works of Albert Hindle. In other words, that the, that that before the non-political and the total state of the, the 20th century, this intermediate stage of uh, we call it national liberal intermediate stage is recognized by the works of Albert Hensel. To generalize the concept of the state altogether with the concept of human society is, according to him, a downright mistake. He sees in the state an uh, entity joining together, uh, joining other organizations of society, but of a special kind which rise above these and is all-embracing. Okay, so, uh, although his its general purpose is universal, uh, uh, th through only, though only, in the special task of delimiting and organizing society's effective forces, i.e., the specific uh, in in the specific functions of the law, Hensel considered wrong the belief that the state has at least the potential, the power of making all the social goals of humanity its goals tools, even even though the state for him, even though the state is for him universal, it is by no means total. But and this is again this the idea that the state is not designed to deliver all things to everyone. In other words, that, 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 you know, again, this is, again, this is the idea that the state is not, the modern democratic state, the state is the mechanism, a total state is the, is the state is the mechanism to deliver all goods. Now here the state is limited, there is a limit to state power in this the, uh, uh, other understanding of this. Um, Hensel considers wrong that the state has potentially at least the power of making society, all societies, those humanities, its goals too. It can't do that. This is impossible. Even it's no universal, it's not total, right? This idea, this is the idea that there is a limit to this power. 
and total state denies that limit to that power, right? Even though the state is for him universal, uh, the decisive step is found in Gekka, uh, Gekka, uh, uh, Gekka's theory of association. And the first volume of his, okay, this is the German, Yeah, German Association of Law. <laughs> this is not, this is Jeschen Schaffen Recht, so association. This is the word for association. Geno, Geno Schaft Recht, the law of this. German Association appeared in 1684. Now, this is Richter, Ger Gerich, and um, uh, uh, later, 10 years later, 15 years later, um, and Maitland will, you know, Maitland translates his book on natural law, medieval, uh, medieval constitutional political thought, natural law and political thought of the Middle Ages and other things. Um, and Ma he and Ma Maitland will be the great translator in English of Gerke, what Gerke, 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 sorry, Gerke, I, I, I'm horrible pronouncing German words, okay. Um, because it conceived of the state as one association, in other words, Gerke association because it can Conceive the state as one association equal to all the other associations. So Gerke's understanding is the state is just one association, all these associations, and this is equal within them. Right? It's odd idea of this, equal to other associations. Of course, in addition to the associations, uh, the associational element, sovereign ones too belong to the state and were sometimes stressed more and sometimes less. Okay, this is the problem of Gerke, Gerke's theory. Um, but since it pertained to a theory of association and not to the theory of sovereignty of the state, the democratic concepts were un undeniable. Okay, so therefore, this is what's interesting that it didn't it avoided the question of sovereignty. It's, Schmidt is arguing Giddick's theory of association sidestepped the question of sovereignty, and therefore, it, uh, in this sense, that these things are like this. It has a it gives the appearance the the, the consequences of this model is. Of democratic consequences, right? In Germany, they were drawn by Hugo Price and uh, uh, Wollendorf, uh, whereas in England, it was left to uh, it, it led to pluralistic theories. Uh, see section four below. Right? This is the idea of this is the distinction. In England, you had pluralistic theories, and in Germany, you had this associations of corporate theory. Okay. Um, while waiting for further enlightenment. It seems to me that Wolf Smen's theory of integration of state uh, of, of the state corresponds to the political situation in which society in, uh, in which society is no longer integrated into an existing state, as the German people in the monarchical state of the 19th century, but should itself integrate into the state. So that the people, in other words, the society no longer integrated into an existing state, the monarchical system but it should integrate into the state as the people itself, the society itself, that this situation necessitates the total state uh, uh, expresses itself clearly in Schmidt's remark about the sentence from uh, Tertius, a 1918 dissertation on Montesquieu and Hegel. So let's go look at this note. I think it is eight. No, this is like Schmitz identified. Uh, Schmitz identified himself in the epoch of national sovereign state with his just publicum euro corpium. He used the term fiend and enemy, not in the faux sense. You know, um, uh, and, and then this other line, this note here is in the excise of the enumeration discussed of Schmitz's friend and enemy discussion, particularly in caused the Han Margathal's notions of the political. Um, the critique is contained with Schmidt's reference to him as implied in Morgenthau's external writing. So, this is, so Schmidt's this, this dissertation, this book that he wrote, which highlights his dissertation. Uh, this thing of uh, a book is of a, a dissertation Hegel, right? Which is again published in, in this series of books that later, later books. Uh, uh, there, it is said of Hegel's doctrine of the division of power that it signifies the most vigorous penetration of all societal spheres by the state for the general purpose of winning uh, for the entirety of the state all vital energies of the people, volt, the people right? or nation. I don't know what this word is. I think volt. To which Schmin adds uh, that this is precisely the integration theory of his book. In other words, the, all these things go into the state. And this is what integration means. 
And actually, and actually, it is the total state which no longer knows anything absolutely non-political. The state which must do away with the depolitization of the 19th century, and which in particular, um, and which in particular puts an end to the principle that the apolitical economy is independent of the state, and that the state is apart from the economy. So the 19th century view is the state and the economy are separate things. That these things, this is the liberal view. The state and the economy are separate things. But the merge of this new state, the new condition of democratization leads to a, Schmidt argues, a, a, the emergence of a total state where everything is under the realm of, the, of this. And, this and, and he's pointing to um, uh, Schmidt's, uh, Schmidt's point here, this integration theory, which everything is here at the, uh, uh, um, um, the state for the general, for everything. And there was all, the vigorous, most vigorous penetration of all social spheres by the state for the general purpose of winning the entirety of the state, all vital energies of the people. So all the, this is the idea of the nation state in, 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 Bob, uh, Bob, um, in uh, Philip Bobbitt's uh, Shield of Achilles, right? The idea that the state, you know, the original states were states, states, monarchies and controlling states, the monastic monasteries controlling states take control of nations to utilize this nation for its power. Now what happens here is the nation state takes the, the people the, who compose the nation, the nation takes control of the state to achieve its vitality in that sense, right? This is, this is uh, how I, maybe Schmidt would portray this. Yeah, this is why some people would argue, you know, I think Bobbitt sees in Schmidt a nation state, the building of the nation state, the, this idea of the nation state, total state in the sense of the nation state is a homage. This is the European state. In fact, this is the European state where all, th this is why there's a distinction between England and America and England on returning to this idea of all power and administ everything's administrative constructions, everything's centralized, everything's uh, uh, uniform and conformity. Uh, and the liberal state still is kind of there's divisions here, and that once they move into the total state, they, they, those divisions to disappear. Okay, that's it. Uh, I, I I did enough of this. Uh, I'll see how this goes. Um, we'll, we'll turn next time. Next time I do it between again readings, uh, 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 a second thing. Okay, we'll do a second section. Okay, if you have any comments or criticisms, please put them below. Comments, issues, or issues in there. Comments, please put them below. Uh, 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 questions you have for me, I will respond to them when I see them. Uh, if you like what I do, like it, like it. Okay, like it. Uh, 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 share it with a friend. Share it on social media. Spread the word. If you didn't like it, you have issues, okay, you can say no, but say what's what's wrong in the comments, okay? Help us out. You know, maybe I can, we can learn from this. Um Another thing you can do is, you, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Get others to subscribe. I like to grow the channel some. Um, you can follow me on social media below. If you want to help me, there's mechanisms to do so below uh, through uh, Patreon and other th uh, things. Um, but there it is. Um, take care, and I hope you all uh, 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 return next time to um, um, okay Patreon and things like that. Another way you can buy my books. Okay, See the links to the information below. Um, you can, uh, uh, we'll turn next time, and I'll see you later, but we'll turn next to sec part two next time. I'm not sure, maybe next week, maybe Thursday, depends how happy I am. Uh, we'll see what happens, okay? Take care, bye-bye. Have a good day.